Good morning, YouTube. You can see what I've drug home here. It's not an F100 for a change, but it's a 1982 Chevy K10 4x4 short box. Very cool truck. Uh, in the previous videos, you can see that I was building a 69 F100 for uh, another guy. But uh, let me tell you, I didn't video it. My heart just wasn't in it. I did a lot of the same stuff I had done to the green truck previous videos, which was the independent rear suspension and the LS swap and the crown big, big brakes and all the stuff all over again. And I just didn't really feel like filming it just to repeat everything that I'd done before. So that truck went away and uh, this thing is taking its place and we're gonna get started on it uh, right away here. So let's have a look at this thing and uh, figure out where we're going. So I drug this thing out of a field in Bonneville, Alberta, and it came with all sorts of parts. Uh, I can see the uh, transmission and transfer case is uh, in the bed of the truck. What else we got here? Drive shaft, bumpers, spare wheel, grill, fuel tank, dash pad cover, but we don't need any of that where we're going. You can imagine as if you watch my other projects where this thing will be getting for a power plant. Uh, you can see it's had some shady body work done on the bedsides, but we've already got some replacement bedsides for it. So that'll be a new project, doing some body work in the shop here. And uh, what else? We can see doors are solid on this truck. Cab is solid. Cab corners, solid. Fenders, solid. Bedsides and hood are really the only major problem areas on this truck. And luckily those are both easily replaced. So, like I said, I've already got the bedsides for the truck. I'm gonna be doing those in a video. And uh, the hood, I'm just trying to track one down. It seems like everybody's back ordered on hoods right now, but uh, that'll be coming sooner or later. Uh, we also got in the box of the truck, kind of hard to see here, but uh, some, down in the bottom there, you see some leaf springs. It came with a BDS 4-inch lift kit, but uh, I won't be installing that. I let, really like the truck right at the stock height, but uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, if it needs a lift kit or not, but uh, I think it looks pretty good stock. Inside, again, doors are solid. Look at the bottoms of these doors. Perfect. A little bit of dirt, but uh, not a problem. Inside, we got all sorts of parts. What do we got here? We can look through it. Air cleaner box. Some extra filters. Lift kit stuff. Bunch of screwdrivers. Some wrenches. All the wheel caps, which is pretty exciting because I actually really like the wheels that come or came with this truck. Uh, there's the lift kit parts. U-bolts, blocks steering parts, you know, everything you need. A torque converter, because, you know, that's the place you want to keep that. Some more wrenches. What do we got in here? Ooh, deep purple, the deepest purple. Very cool. It actually has a tape deck in it. The dash hasn't been cut for a CD player, which is pretty amazing. But speaking of dash, the dash pad does need to be replaced, as does the headliner, which is, uh, Drooping down pretty good, but that's okay. It's a project truck. See how solid those doors are? Perfect. So seats are gonna go, and uh, of course you know what's gonna go on here. Right now, it's got a 350 Chevy in it of some flavor. The guy I bought it off and said it was a crate engine but uh, who cares, it's coming out. And we got a donor truck all ready for this guy. If you guys remember, we'll have a little peek outside here. Ooh, sunlight. You guys remember my 2005 GMC short box, four x four crew cab that I painted with a roller and then wrapped with vinyl wrap. As you can see, it's been a few years now. The vinyl wrap's actually held up pretty well. 
tailgate I never did and it completely rusted out and the rocker panels which I never really did have also completely rotted out on the truck but again who cares because what we really want out of this truck is the 6 liter and 4L80E which uh, still are in perfectly good condition I just quit driving this truck because I replaced it with the newer uh, half ton and I really haven't needed a three quarter ton gas guzzling six liter. But uh, this engine will work really well in the little truck and it should carry it quite nicely. I've also got a camshaft and bell springs coming for it. So back into the garage here. Also see this truck came with some brand new in 2011 because I checked the dates on the tire 3110 5015s Hercules but uh, we'll see if those things are still round after sitting as long as it did in the field but you know we'll try them why not carburetor was brand new so I mean hey if any of you guys need a 350 Chevy that supposedly runs hit me up I'll go it it'll be going cheap but uh, just a quick introduction to the truck here show you what's uh, coming uh, I'm gonna run out to the junkyard later today and see what kind of parts they got uh, kicking around out there you guys have seen the uh, wrecking yard in uh, previous videos and they usually got a pretty good selection of old trucks so we're gonna run out there now and uh, see what they got